So, you know, everybody gives me a hard time because I always tell stories. I mean, it's just kind of, it's just my way. I think I was just born that way. That, that Like, here I'm going to tell the convenience store parking lot story that involved the police. So, <laughs> th- that's coming up. But, but what I don't do very often, not often, is tell stories of, of what Bruce Springsteen would call the glory days. Like, I will talk like about... Like when you sold the school? That story doesn't ever go away. But there, there's not a whole lot of, you know... Uh, th- th- those were the days, uh, you know, my, I, I'm, I'm happy at 54 like I was happy at 18. Like, there are different kinds of happiness. Right. So I don't need to live. That moment will live. The selling of New Iberia Senior High will live forever. But other than that, like, I kind of tell stories about what happened over the weekend. I guess maybe I'm not the norm. Or maybe you're not this guy. This station presents Real American Heroes. Real American Today, we salute you, Mr. Guy Who Peaked in High School. Mr. Guy Who Peaked in High School. You were runner-up prom king and scored that one winning touchdown. And we know this because you tell us every time we see you. Have you done nothing else in four decades? We talk about high school more than your three kids. You wear your class ring more than your wedding ring. Stop stalking your phone. So open up your yearbook and frame the game-winning jersey you never washed if it brings you joy. But no, living in the past will never make you truly happy. You are Mr. Guy Who Peaked in High School, a real American hero. Mr. Guy Who Peaked in High School. Tell us again how today's music will never be as good as Journey.